Hey, it's a million mills 0804. Uh, April 3rd, 2012, 1.42 a.m. Uh, I'm going to do a little report here on uh, uh, smart meters. Um, if you're not familiar with these, uh, I'm sure you will be soon. Uh, they're rolling these out all over the country. Um, let me dig into this article a little bit. This uh, website is emfsafetynetwork.org. Um, the section I'm looking at right now is uh, smart meter health complaints. Uh, let's see, one of them says, sick with palpitations, chest pain, insomnia, dizzy dizziness. I managed to have smart meter installation delayed at my house, but suddenly became sick overnight with palpitations, chest pain, insomnia, dizziness, inability to concentrate, memory loss, and fainting spells. After becoming sick, I found out that that day I became suddenly sick was the day the smart meter rollout was completed in my area, and the smart meters were remotely turned on from base. I can no longer drive. I can't work. I'm a doctor. I have to go to sleep at my mother-in-law's place. There are no smart meters there yet. My life is completely ruined and the energy companies and members of Victorian Parliament completely ignore me. Two doctors have confirmed my disability is entirely due to my sensitivity to smart meters, radio transmissions, and I am 100% sure of that as I can always tell accurately if I am in a smart meter area or not. We are now planning to move to South Australia to survive. What is happening in Victoria is a complete breakdown of democracy and an affront to social justice of enormous proportions and implications. What if this is happening to an old lady living alone? Where can she go? We are all morally obligated to speak up and do something about it, if not for ourselves, for the vulnerable amongst us th that, if affected, could not do anything about it. Now that's just one. I mean, this this whole website. I mean, you could just keep scrolling down. It's it's story after story after story. This is emfsafetynetwork.org. Okay, I'll post a link to it in the description. Um. I'm also going to post the link to this uh to this uh little 12 minute film right here uh very informative if if you uh don't really know anything about these things yet I also have let's see declassified government documents uh from the Freedom of Information Act uh December 13th 2006 uh it's quite long it's 20 pdf pages uh but it's i mean it's all about how the government has used the same technology to uh you know test it as a weapon and it and it works uh they use this for all kinds of stuff uh i will post the link for this too um you know it's it's basically a big science experiment and we are the guinea pigs. You know, this technology is on every house in my neighborhood, but one other woman denied it, is what I found out. One other house in this whole neighborhood denied the smart meter. So, me and her are both getting poisoned anyway. But I mean, this this goes on and on and on incapacitating effect microwave hearing microwave hearing is a phenomenon described by human observers as the sensations of buzzing ticking hissing or knocking sounds that originate within or immediately behind the head there is no sound propagating through the air like normal sound this technology in its crudest form could be used to distract individuals if refined it could also be used to communicate with hostages or hostage takers directly by Morse code or other message systems, possibly even by voice communications. Yeah, pretty scary stuff. Basically, uh, they could speak to you without even speaking. 
and it's got all the recipes and all the tests and tunability and possible influence on subjects application of the microwave hearing technology could facilitate a private message transmission it may be useful to provide a disruptive condition to a person not aware of the technology not only might be disruptive to the sense of hearing it could be psychologically devastating if one suddenly heard voices within one's head so there you go people they they have the technology to beam whatever they want into your brain and now they have it on every single one of your houses okay so I suggest you do your research if you care about yourself and and the ones that you love uh, if you got kids uh, it, it doesn't matter whoever whoever I mean Duke has a contract with Echelon and Echelon is is the biggest spy organization in the world they monitor all of our communications there's not a signal that goes out that Echelon does not receive and go over and that who that is who has made these smart meters okay so don't mean to get so angry people but I'm getting drowned out by uh, all this uh, Elect electromagnetic frequency that's being beamed into me so I'll post the links in the description um, please people do your research look this stuff up this is no joke I mean it, if you have one of these next to your bed you know on the outside of your, on the outside of your house i mean you're you're getting these frequencies that that operate on the same frequency that that your own body operates on so the possibilities are endless with this this is millimose 0804 you guys have a good one stay safe